Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in on this wonderful Wednesday for your word for the day today. I hope that you're having a great day. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at Psalm 103. I wanna kick us off at the beginning of that. Uh, and it says this. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. You may recognize that from some song lyrics that have been borrowed from that passage. Verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Again, this is a psalm of praise to the, to the Lord of heavens, to the God who blesses and, and benefits our life. And, and I want you to hear verse 2 again. Uh, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. How's your memory? Uh, how are you remembering how God has blessed and guided your life? Because I think it's far too easy to just see our present and our future and maybe to get overwhelmed or worried or burdened down by those things. And maybe we forget where God has brought us. And when we look at the, the Old Testament, we follow the nation of Israel and their journey out of Egypt and into the promised land. It's very easy to see they had a memory problem. They had some spiritual amnesia that would kick in where they would forget God. They would forget how God had blessed them. They would forget how God had provided for them. They would forget how God had led them into just incredible places uh, that they didn't imagine. And instead... Uh, they, would, they would start to fabricate different memories. They would forget how bad Egypt was and they would long to go back into slavery. And so as they're uh, getting some instructions on what life is to look like in the promised land, I want to read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, starting in verse 10. It says, And when the Lord brings you into the land that he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to give you with great and good cities you didn't build, with houses full of all things you didn't fill, and cisterns you didn't dig, and vineyards and olive trees you didn't plant. And when you eat and are full, he says this, Take care lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. It's the Lord your God you shall fear. Him you shall serve, and by his name you shall swear. See, I think since the beginning of time, we've had a problem of spiritual amnesia. We forget how God has worked in our life. We forget all the ways that he's provided for us. We forget the ways he's blessed us and, and arranged things on our behalf. So here's my challenge to you. Spend some time this week reflecting back on the past. Not on the bad stuff. Not on the things that Satan wants to use to accuse you uh, and to, to try and change your identity into one of failure or sinner or, or anything like that. But instead, think back. What have been the difficult moments that God has led you through? What are the incredible opportunities that have arisen because God has arranged those things? What are the, the ways that God has answered prayers? Here's an interesting one. What are the ways that God did not answer prayers that you're now thankful for that he didn't at the time? Spend some time reflecting back on those things and use those, those memories and that perspective that, that we have looking in the rearview mirror of our life to bless the Lord, O oh, our soul and express everything within us as praise to the Lord for how he has provided, for how he has blessed and benefited our life. I hope that you do that, and I hope it leads you to worship God well today. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.